that me on the beat. Bitch, I'm from Texas, I'm bringing the heat. As for my head, just look at my feet. Y'all is beneath me, just look at my cleats. I ain't had shit, I was raising the streets. Late at night, y'all was counting the sheep. I gotta give and I gotta eat. My family was hungry and it's time to feed. Rainy days on the block, gotta bleed. Up from the dirt, just like the sea. Remember days, this was only a dream. Double cup and I fill it with me. Flow like a butter, I sting like a bee. What do this mean? This ain't no me. Fuck with the team, you dead on the scene. I can handle my own, even if I'm one D. Right through the city, you hit us, get sweet. Please don't think that the dough is sweet. This be the lie, this ain't the cheat. See, sucking dick, she use no teeth. I keep the stick, smoking off teeth. You run up on me and I call it most beef. Days is a thief, I fell off like a leaf and I couldn't relieve all of the grief. Mm. This is out of new motherfucking whip looking, y'all. Uh, we got the leather seats. Um, nice, good space in the back for a sedan. You know what I'm saying? Like, my last one, it was kind of, like, littler. But now I could actually, like, bring people along more. We got this sunroof right here. This thing actually comes off, which I'm going to show y'all right now. All right, y'all, so check this. We could either do it like this, and then you just have it like that. Or you can bring it in, and then, yes sir. You know what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying? And then, uh. Yes sir. Oh yeah, I want that cup. Okay, I bought this car, I bought this car the other day, of course, and um, it didn't come with a, it came with a stock stereo, no audio, no aux cord, nothing, so I had to go buy this hoe. So I had to go buy this hoe, had to put this hoe in. Um, the crazy part about this all is the radio was only $200. The installation was like $500. Because they said I needed a new aux, I needed to rewire my speakers. And all that bad stuff. So yeah. So this is pretty good. You know we got the AC of course. Everything works. Uh, yeah. Yeah dig that. Look. Uh, sport bitch. And look. These motherfucking windows are blue. They're uh, blue tinted. I don't know if y'all could tell. But um. Every window is blue tinted, even the top, you know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, so um, let's talk about uh, why you shouldn't buy a used car. Now, if you're in Texas, buying a used car could be from an easy experience to a difficult experience, just depending on the owner's situation or where you're buying the car from. So what I mean by this is the other day, my car messed up. Remember, I told you about that in my last video. If y'all don't understand, don't know what I'm talking about, make sure y'all go check out my last video so y'all could be updated. But basically, my car did not, um, it, it, it failed on me. So I took it to the shop and it was too much. So I, it wasn't too much. It was too much to fix it. Like, like, why would I spend more money on that dumb car to fix it? Cheers, guys. You know, like, why would I spend more money on that car to fix it when it's going to probably have another problem the other, the next week or something? So I said F that car. I want a new one. And y'all can see this this Benz is better than my green one that I had. Um, I didn't show y'all my green Benz, the outside, really too much. But some people know and seen it. But um, it's because it's a green Benz. A lot of people don't have green Benzes. This is a black Benz. I freaking love it. Everybody has a black Benz. Black on black. 
Let's get it, man. So look, I'm just like happy because I'm in this situation where it's not like I'm I'm spotted out right away. I'm in a black bins. There's so many people in San Antonio with the black bins. So it's like a stock color, you know, and it's just awesome to, to have one of these. Like, um, basically, do not buy a used car from Craigslist. Offer up without having it plugged into a scanner to check scan codes and see what you have to work on. Just in case they say nothing's wrong with it, make sure you put a scan code under there. Unless you have a warranty and you're just like, you know what, I don't even have to check nothing. Because if I have a warranty, I know that I'm going to be good because the warranty says so. Like if something happens, the warranty, I could just bring it back and they'll fix it for me. So if you don't have a warranty, like if they're not offering, offering a warranty, if you're purchasing it, do not buy. Be hesitant about it. So what you want to do, look under the hood. Look by the engine bay. If you see anything in the front of the engine bay that's not good, then you want to ask about it. They're going to lie, of course. They want to sell the car. People want to sell cars for the low because there's always something wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? If it's sold for this price, it's because there's not that much things wrong with it. So, let me explain to y'all what the fuck is going on. So, basically, if you over here trying to buy a used car, you definitely need a mechanic by your side that knows their stuff. Or if you know your stuff, no matter of fact, just make sure you have a licensed mechanic with you. That's all you need. Because if you have one of those, they will tell you, this car's trash, this car's good. ASAP. Because they work on them. I do my, by the way, they're, the people that work here are here. And I don't give a fuck. But anyway, so look. They, they, um, they work on them. Just like me. Like, I know about the Benzes, right? So, when I got this Benz, I already knew about everything about Benzes because I worked on almost everything on my last Benz. And they're pretty much the same, like, um, body type. So, same things, like, features and stuff. This has a little more features, like, of course, the, the awesome sunroof and all that stuff. I put the flat in here because, you, you dude, I, I needed, a, like, a radio. I, would, I didn't want to get a regular radio. Because this is a nice car, so I had to put a nice radio in this bitch. So, anyway, um, long story short, guys, make sure you have a mechanic. Because I went and checked out. I was searching for cars for like three days in a row. And I went everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. The cars I was looking at for a good amount was, um, like the engine was like, I had a check engine light on. I had this light on, this light on. Y'all might not think it's nothing. They might tell you it's nothing with the check engine light, guys. But trust me. It's everything. A check engine light can mean 200 different things. Make sure you have a scan tool with you. Or a mechanic with a scan tool. Pay him for his time. That's the hard part about it. I wasted all this money on gas for taxis or homies letting, lending me a ride to go get this new whip. So I was kind of in a limited position. But I still wasn't going to get played like a dummy. So I went to a couple places. I went to this place, this place. They are trying to play me. They will try to play you. So I go to I go check out this Chrysler 300. It has a check engine light on. I go check out this other car, Pontiac. It has uh, no lights on. But guess what? I thought the check and the checking cooling... I thought the cooling was low. My bad. Cooling. I thought the cooling was low. Dude, some guy puts water in the coolant. Automatically, that was a no-go for that seller. Because I don't care who you are. Everybody knows you're not supposed to put water in your coolant. Because that will go through the radiator. Alright y'all, so basically, um, I was about to get fudged on a car because I was rushing it. And I know last time when I rushed it, it wasn't a good experience for me. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I just didn't feel like it was right to rush it. So, I went back home. I wasted money on taxi. It was okay. I was not going to come home in a Pontiac with scratch paint on it. You know, I was like, bro, I got to like find a good car. You know, one that's right for me. So finally, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and finally I find this car, yada, yada. Long story short, I got this car. But I'm telling y'all, I had three cars before this that I bought on Craigslist and OfferUp. And those are the two sites that you don't want to look. You always want to go to a car lot. Go to a car lot with a bunch of cars, read the reviews, do all your research, all that good stuff. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy what you find on the internet nowadays. Like, people are pretty much watching this video trying to find out how to buy a car. So, I appreciate y'all time for that. And I'm explaining to y'all 
why it's a good thing to buy a used car, okay? And not rent one, a new one or something like that. So if you rent a new car, you're going to get interest fees. And interest fees are freaking ridiculous. I'm telling you, like, you could pay for an $8,000 car and you're going to be end up paying eleven grand total. Then you're going to have to pay for your insurance and all that good stuff. And you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, you put yourself in a predicament where you got to grind. I don't mind that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not one to like, I don't know guys, don't buy, don't rent a car, like, because you're going to pay high interest fees. So when you buy a used car, like I said, make sure you go to a mechanic, make sure you do your research, make sure you do all that good stuff, because if you don't, you might get messed up, you know what I'm saying? And like, I've had some good cars, like I bought a car one time for $650, it's my Mitsubishi GT, or whatever. Gallant, my bad, Gallant. And um, it was whack. It was very whack. Radiator was busted up. Everything was whack. But, like, honestly, it lasted for a good three months. And it got me on my feet to where I could get another car. So I got a better car after that. And it was it was God's great, you know what I'm saying? Because God let me have a car for those three whole months, and it was reliable. I give that Mitsubishi that. It was really reliable. Even though it was $650, y'all. That shit was crazy, and I came up, and, you know, out here, now to make money, you need a whip, you know, and it's sad, it's sad to say, but sometimes it's it's hot as hell right now, right? Without the whip, it's, it's kind of hard to move around, you know? You can't be at your job when you're taking the bus, like, you might be late. They might want to tell you to come in some sometime sooner, you know, overtime, and how you get to come home. And you need a whip sometimes, you know, and I understand that. All right, y'all, so... I kind of hotboxed it and the people told me that I have to go, the people that work here, or some shit like that, but I'm still here. So, uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, guys. I'll be back at it with some more fire videos. I hope y'all like the new car. We got a lot more adventures coming soon, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm about to drop this because it's super hot, man. Alright, you guys, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I hope y'all learned something. Don't ever buy a car without a mechanic, all that good stuff. And yeah. We pull up in a hundred trucks. My role model used to get a hundred blocks.